Thank you for watching videos by Jeff Sebelius and FamilyTravelPhotos.com. In this episode, I'll describe the camera settings I normally use for the unique Q500 4K, Typhoon H, and Blade Chroma 4K. This episode is part of a series of videos designed to help you fly your Q500 quadcopter. This episode applies specifically to the Q500 4K, Typhoon H, and Blade Chroma 4K drones. Let's get started with episode 10, My Camera Settings. Now I'll share the settings that I typically use. For image style, I like gorgeous. Many people prefer natural, but I think it looks washed out. I love the rich colors I get with the gorgeous setting, and I'm happier with those results than if I shoot in RAW and pump the colors up myself. I record in 3840 by 2160 resolution at 30 frames per second. Down the road, 4K will become more and more the standard, and I want today's source files to take advantage of that. The only reason I'd shoot at 1080p is if I wanted a higher frame rate for slow motion. Frankly, the Q500 already flies slow enough as it is, so I haven't had a situation where I wanted to slow the footage down more. I rarely shoot still photos, but I set the camera to shoot DNG rather than JPEG files. For advanced settings, I test auto white balance against the best preset for my current conditions. More often than not, I like the auto white balance results better, and I hit the lock button to lock that in. I think the Q500 tends to shoot a little bright by default, so I normally set EV compensation to negative 0.5, especially on sunny days. I created a couple presets in Sony Vegas that I use on video clips taken with the above settings. In a future video, I'll introduce you to several helpful programs including Sony Vegas, and I'll discuss those presets then. I've only begun testing with the ND filter. So far, I haven't seen any improvement to my videos with them, but I'll test more. If nothing else, I may leave the ND4 filter on all the time, if only because it provides better protection for the lens than that flimsy filter that comes with the camera. I just don't see much use for manual mode other than avoiding light plumes, but that may change if I start using filters more. This concludes episode 10 of my video series for unique Q500 owners. Be sure to watch episodes 8 and 9 for a discussion of basic and creative camera settings on the unique Q500 4K and Typhoon H and the Blade Chroma 4K. I've also posted links to other tutorial videos below. Be sure to watch those to learn more about flying your drone. Please help me by hitting the like button. That's how you help my channel grow, so I can make more videos like this for you. It also helps if you subscribe, and you'll be notified when I release more videos in the future. Your comments and ideas for future videos are greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching.